where to go to recycle. You probably already know where you can recycle plastic bottles, glass bottles, and tin cans. Most of the time, most of us can put those things in our recycling bins or bags and put them out with the garbage once a week or once every other week and we can take them to a recycling center near where we live. What about paper? Do you know where we can recycle paper? And what kinds of paper you can recycle? Here are some of the things that we recycle at our house. How about cooking oil or organic scraps? Do you know what to do with those things? How about light bulbs or old cell phones or even old computers? And what about those dead household batteries? Do you know where to recycle those things? There are so many things that can be recycled that end up in the landfills or garbage dumps just because people don't know that these things can be recycled or where they can be recycled. One of my very favorite places to get information about where to recycle things is on a website called earth911.com. There are many other websites and resources that you can use, but I have found that this one is a good way to get the information that I need. Another idea you might try is having your mom or dad call or visit your county's recycling coordinator. That makes sense, right? Sure it does. Here where I live in Florida, our recycling coordinator has all kinds of information and not just about recycling. One of the most important things you can do is to reduce the amount of garbage you throw away and that means thinking about the things you buy. As someone who is not a grown up, you may not have a lot of control over the kinds of things that your parents buy and that's okay, but we can all think about and talk about these kinds of things and work towards improving our habits so that we do our best to bring as little harm as possible to our planet. If we cannot help with the things that we do, we can at least do our best to not hurt our planets with the things that we do. Does your school re recycle paper? Many schools do. Do you have a recycling bin at home to collect it? And do you know what kinds of paper you can recycle instead of just throwing away? Many times the schools will get money if for you bringing the um, paper to recycle at their bin. Also batteries. Very often the schools will do the same thing. Then the schools get more money so that they can have a better place for you to go to school. So think about those things. Ask your school if they're part of the program. Reducing the amount of water we use is also important. Can you imagine for just one moment a world without clean water to drink? Well I can't and I don't want to either. We have a big healthy garden at our house and all those plants need water. So we've thought of some ways to get water to our garden and to reduce the amount of water we waste. One of the things we did was to put big garbage cans at the ends of our rain spouts to collect water when it rains. Uh, we have three of those around our house, but it doesn't rain every day, so if, it's, if that's all we did, we wouldn't have enough water to take care of our gardens. We'd then have to use our hose. The other thing we can do to cut down on the amount of water, water we waste in our house is to collect water in clean garbage can where we're, when we're warming it up to take a shower or bath. We take that water and put it in our water bar barrels outside. We do the same thing with the water we use for washing dishes. Instead of just letting it go down the drain while we're waiting for it to get hot enough to wash our dishes, we catch it in gallon jugs and put that in our water barrels outside each evening too. Of course, you may not have a garden or a house with a yard, so this might not be a good idea for you. What do you think is a good idea for you? I'll bet you have a few ideas. Of course you do. Why not send me an email with your ideas on how to reduce, reuse, and recycle? I'll be happy to share those ideas with everyone on our show. Send me an email with your ideas.